This interactive mapping tool was developed by the Agency of Natural Resources to connect residents, businesses, and institutions with solid waste services around the state. It also connects haulers and composters with potential sources of food and food scraps for their operations. This tutorial will give you a basic overview of the map and show you where important tools and layer options are located. Beginning with the welcome menu on the right hand side of the map, you'll find out more about how the map was created and how to submit corrections to improve it. You'll also be able to access a PDF map guide from this menu. Keep it open in your browser for future reference or close out to return to the map frame. The welcome menu can be toggled off and on at any time using the down arrows at the top right hand corner of the screen. Because businesses producing large amounts of food waste are required to divert food waste starting this summer, July 2014, the map is being launched initially with a focus on organics management. You can view what layers have been mapped by opening up the map layers pane from the top left of the screen. You'll see solid waste facilities, food scrap generators, and food shelves have already been turned on to display. In order to see the more detailed food scrap generator layer, zoom into the map by clicking on the plus and minus arrows near the map layer pane, or by double clicking anywhere on the map. There may be a second or two delay for these denser map layers to display as the data loads. At any time, you can click the show legend button at the bottom of the layer pane to reveal the legend for all current map layers. To return to the layers list, click the Show Layer button in the same location. Zooming out of the map and turning on the Solid Waste Management Entity layer will show the boundaries of solid waste districts, alliances, and towns with individual plans. Click on the map within one of these color boundaries to find contact information for that entity. The Food Scrap Ton Per Mile and Housing Density layer can be turned on to help you analyze population densities and major sources of food waste as it relates to physical locations of mapped businesses, institutions, and facilities. Here are a few other quick map features you should know. Go to the upper right hand corner of your screen to change the base map according to your preferences. You can use the Target tool to use your IP address to map your current location on the map. You may also use the bookmark feature to save a current view so you can return to it in future visits without having to navigate. The other important component of this mapping tool is the map toolbar. Use the button with the screwdriver and wrench in the top right corner to open it. There are three tabs that contain different functions, such as measuring tools on the second tab and drawing tools on the third. These tools are very straightforward to use and allow you to do things like measure the distance between multiple points and change the unit of measurement for a line or area. You can also add points, lines, shapes, and even text using the drawing tools and use the edit feature to manipulate your drawings. For all measurements and drawings, you can use the erase tool to remove one shape at a time or hit the clear all button to remove shapes all at once. The more complex filtering and search tools can all be found on the first tab of the toolbar. Use the initial view or full extent buttons to return to see the full state of Vermont again. If you want to display only one kind of solid waste facility on the map, use the filter by facility type tool. If, for example, we only want to see composting facilities displayed on the map, we will choose composting facilities when the map prompts us and only the green circles showing these facilities will display. Be patient, as some of these complex tools take time to process. To clear this filter and view all facility types again, click the Clear Layer Filters button and choose the layer you want to restore. Now let's say you want to zoom into the boundaries of any Vermont town. Use the Zoom to Town tool to, and start typing the name of a Vermont town and suggestions will pop up. Hit the OK to zoom in. From here, you can see all facilities, food scrap generators, and food shelves in the Great East Montpelier area. To display only certain types of food scrap generators, select the Filter by Generator Type tool and choose the type of business or institution you want to view, for instance, high schools. By clicking on a food scrap generator icon, you can view specific information for the school and the estimated tons of food waste generated per week. If you notice that the details here are incorrect, click the link to submit a correction. 
The same function works for all solid waste facilities like composters and transfer stations. If you want to filter the food scrap generator layer to only show generators producing a certain amount of food waste, use the Filter by Scrap Tons Generated tool. The levels of food waste to choose from are over 2 tons, over 1 ton, over half a ton, or over one third of a ton per week. To reset this layer, again choose the Clear Layer Filters button. Finally, the most robust tool to use for complying with Vermont's Universal Recycling Law is the Search for Facilities tool. This function will ask you to enter your location by typing in an address or clicking on the map and will return a list of composters and transfer stations that are within 20 miles of the location you entered. You can export the list to Excel when prompted or move on and view the list within the map frame. For any facility on the list, Click the Get Directions link to be transferred to Google Maps with your starting point and end point already entered. The recommended route and driving distance will be offered instantly. If you zoom out from the map, you'll see that a circle with a 20 mile radius has been drawn around your specified location or address. This shape can be deleted using the eraser in the Drawing Tools tab. This completes our overview of the Universal Recycling Materials Management Map. Whether you're a resident, hauler, business, or facility operator, the agency hopes you find this overview useful in giving you a jump start for your universal recycling planning needs. For more information, open up the welcome menu and click the link to return to the map launch page where you can find extra documents on the Universal Recycling Materials Management Map and access information about universal recycling on the Universal Recycling web pages. Visit us always at www.recycle.vermont.gov. Thanks.